A Fontana family is struggling to recover after their home was destroyed by a massive fire, leaving them with almost nothing. How the community can pitch in. Good evening. You're watching the KTLA 5 News at 530. I'm Courtney Friel. And now Mary Beth McDade, Cher and Pedro have the night off. Well, the Vincent family was already having a rough time before the fire, and now they're not sure how they'll be able to get through this. KTLA 5's Inland Empire reporter Shelby Nelson joins us live in Fontana, where friends are pulling together to help this family. Hi, Shelby. Court and B, as you both said, this family has had such a difficult time already this year. The Vincente family. I spoke to Alfredo Vincente, who tells me that his wife has been battling cancer and now they are left without a home. He says on October 8th, he received that call from his wife, got here and saw the flames mainly from this part of the homes where he believes the origin of the fire is. And as you can still see, lots of damage left over. You got fire in the back. Fire in the back. Video showing the sheer destruction of a fire that spreads to two duplexes on Juniper and Upland Avenues in Fontana. Alfredo Vincente's home is practically gutted. The father of three and his wife are now staying inside a friend's garage, leaving him and his cancer sick wife to pick up the pieces. It was late morning on October 8th. Estaba mi esposa y mis dos hijas. Alfredo was at his son's soccer game when he received a panicked call from his wife. She and their two daughters were at home. Parecer mi hija salió a, a la cocina y miró bastante humo por el cuarto de, de mi esposa. He says one of his daughters noticed smoke inside his wife's room. She then went outside and noticed the raging fire. His girls then running to tell another woman who lives on the same property. We heard like a lot of cracking and popping and like it sounded like really loud, like we thought something was going to explode. It sounded very scary. By the time Alfredo arrived home, everything was practically on fire. He says according to firefighters, the blaze may have ignited from a water heater at another neighbor's home before spreading to his. The family is fortunate that his wife and daughters made it out okay, but they were already struggling. His wife is out of work undergoing chemotherapy after she was diagnosed with leukemia last year. Losing her medications to the fire. Neighbor Emily Gutierrez has set up a GoFundMe account in hopes of getting the family help. And just knowing their situation, knowing what they've been through, they're very honest, very humble people. They don't deserve anything that they're going through, so this is why I wanted to spread the word out. Maybe we can get some help. And Alfredo tells me that all they can do right now is move forward. You can see what's left of this home. Neighbors tell us that it's likely going to be taking about six to eight months to be able to get everything repaired and ready. But in the meantime, this family is displaced. And again, neighbors have set up that GoFundMe page. You can find more information on our website, KTLA.com. And they're also accepting food and clothes. That's the very latest from Fontana. I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. We